Today I'm going to show you how to shrink and unshrink a partition. So to begin, click on Start, go to Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Computer Management, double click on that, wait for it to load, go to Disk Management, wait for it to detect all your drives. You notice here this is all the partitions and all the drives that you have on your computer. Today I'm going to mess with Drive H. So click on it. You see all the lines coming across it. That means it's highlighted. Right click. Tell it to shrink volume. Wait for it to load. This tells you how big your volume is or how big your partition is. This tells you the available space for shrinking. And if you want to change that, which I do, I'll change it to 12 gigs, which would be 12,000 megs. And here tells you how much the previous partition will be. So it'll only be 26 gigs instead of 35. So when you've done that, hit shrink. And you notice that you now have it split and now have a black bar across 12 gigs. If you notice over here, this partition is now 25.54, which translates to 26 gigs. Now to make this partition active, click on it, right click, tell new simple volume, read the directions. This tells you how what's formatting, it's formatting 12 gigs, which is what we want. Click next. This will assign a drive letter I. Um, you can also have it mount in a folder, or you can have it not assign any drive letter. In this case I want a drive letter. So drive I, click next. This tells you if you want to format it or not. We do. So this tells you if you want NTFS or FAT32. We want NTFS. You set the allocation size, which I'll just leave a default. You name your new partition. If you want to change it from new volume to say hot rod. And I would highly recommend leaving this check mark, perform quick format. Because depending on the size of the drive, this could take a long time if you're talking like a very big partition, like a terabyte or more. And if you want file and folder compression at, enabled, just you can check mark that, which I don't want. So hit next. This just gives you an overview of everything that's going to be done to it. And everything looks okay. Just click finish. And you see the bar is now blue. And we're just now waiting for it to format and make it active. And it's now active. And if you have autoplay on, you notice that the name of the drive is Hot Rod, Drive I. And you click Open Folder View. Of course, it's empty. So, to make this partition back into this partition and make this a whole drive again, highlight Drive I, right click, tell it to delete volume. This tells you if there's any data on it, it will be gone. And since there's nothing on it, it's nothing to worry about. And always remember to back up everything on your drive before you shrink it or unshrink it. So click yes. You notice the black bar is back. And to add that back in, click on drive H, right click, tell it to extend volume, read the directions, click next. And if you had multiple partitions on that drive, it would be listed here. And since we only have one, it's already selected. Here, you can actually tell it how much space you want back. So if I didn't want the whole thing, I can type in, say, 3 gigs. And that would only add in 3 gigs of space back. And I'll show you an example here. You notice now it's shrunk to 8.7 gigs, and it just added 3 gigs back to my main partition. But since I want to add it all back, go back to Extend Drive, make sure that's selected. 9 gigs is here. That's what we want. Click Next. This just tells you what was selected. And hit Finish. And it is now a whole drive once again. And that is all it is to it to shrink and unshrink your drive volume.